All right, it's time for some mods now. Now, the first thing that really, really annoys me, we've got these ESC covers there, lovely carbon fibre plate, uh, little bolts going into brass nuts, but uh, look at this. Brass nuts are just not secure in the foam at all. Uh, that's just a ridiculous design decision, that one. I don't know what they were thinking. That's just absolutely stupid. Uh, it'd be better just to tape these plates on or just glue them on or something like that, but these brass bolts are dumb. So here's a closer up shot of a little nut in there. Uh, look at this, you can just pull it out with your fingers. That's pathetic. Uh, next thing I'm doing is after my CG testing, the motor mount showed how pathetic it is. That's another really dumb decision too. Bolting the motor onto this through the back and then gluing that on means the motor is effectively glued in position. You can't remove the motor without ungluing it or just ripping it off and uh, it's just not a big enough area to hold the motor on anyway. So I've got rid of that. Got a sharp knife and just sort of carved off the little lip around there and made up a plywood uh, motor mount. This is just 3 mil ply. I'd probably prefer 4 mil or 5 mil I suppose but this is all I've got at the moment. I think that'll be okay. Uh, glued that on securely with uh, hot glue and I've got one of these little uh, X mounts that uh, I can screw that in from the outside and that's going to be a much more secure removable motor mount. What I've done with these covers now is just I've pulled out all of those little nuts uh, and I've just put dobs of hot glue on each corner glued it on and a bit of tape over the front. I can still pull them off if I have to but they're much more secure than the uh, bolts and brass nuts. I have also dialed in some differential thrust. I've now got the ESCs uh, operated separate separately. Got an FPV camera on it. Just sitting up on the nose there. There's the stabiliser. I've got the ESC, uh, the battery and ESC directly connected, not going through the board. Don't need to connect to the board really. Uh, 5 volts is coming in through the ESCs and then into the board via the auxiliary switch connection. I've removed one power lead for one of the ESCs because we don't need both of them providing power. It's both together. Now turn on some differential thrust. Only got a very little bit, only about 20%, but we'll see how that goes anyway. Alright, here we go. Got a guy practicing his paragliding over there. Look at that thing purr. Alright, try some differential thrust, differential thrust on. It works just like a rudder. <laughs> got to be careful though, I've only got 20% and that's probably all I need, I think. Need to put the camera on to see what it looks like from on board. New motor mounts are nice. Twin motors sound great. All right, time for some speed runs. New battery, GPS sensor. Warming up, all right, fast run. Hundred and six kilometers an hour. Hundred and six is the fastest so far. 
current sensor is only 40 amps, so I better not push it too hard because the current's going to go above that. Actually, if I take the current sensor out, Yeah, to push it a bit harder. All right, I've taken the camera off. I have taken the current sensor out because that was sort of the limiting current draw. So I can go above 40 amps now without blowing the current sensor. Thirteen kilometres an hour. Hundred thirty-one kilometres an hour. Hundred miles an hour. <laughs> Woohoo!